this scroller box came to me in record time I received this this today is the 26th of September I got the notification that they sent this on the 21st of September five days that's a new record especially for me living in Australia and they've got a sent from the UK I don't know what has happened there but not that I'm really complaining because I got my scroller box like in five days but anyway so this is September's scroller box so let's cut this bad boy open and see what's inside it only feels like I did the last scroller box not long ago because they were so quick with this one. All right, let's see what's inside this box. Oh, oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna have to go straight to this because this is pretty cool. This is, this is pretty cool. I know who this is, Casey Golden. <laughs> Saw her aunt a mile away. That's really, really cool because um, Casey is one of my favorite artists I like to watch on YouTube because I find her hilarious and completely dry and yeah just I love that and two bits of paper awesome all right we have a jolly rancher oh my god I haven't had one of them since I was a teenager Wow, I'm not going to eat that now because I'm filming this at night and I've just brushed my teeth so I'm going to have to probably do a candy review some other time. <laughs> we have a Pentel or Orens, Orens, I'm not good at pronouncing things so oh cool, it is a mechanical pencil, awesome. Next is a Windsor and Newton, uh, I presume it's a fine liner. Oh, oh shit, look at that. That's a nib. We have a Milan size six uh, watercolor, watercolor paintbrush, I assume. Oh, oh, check out that sticker and oh my god it's i have seen so many videos on these holy shit viviva color sheets oh my lord and there's a little postcard in here oh that's cool that's cool this is very exciting so we'll get the menu now we've got the viviva watercolor sheets um, mechanical pencil that is a synthetic brush is it yep for watercolors obviously because there's a watercolor doobie in here um, yep fine liner and we've got some Bockingford watercolor paper 300 GSM oh man I've been wanting to try this stuff I've been seeing this around okay and the challenge word is feeling buggy oh i'm loving this box okay casey you done really well with this this is this is going to be super fun super fun really really good box i'm gonna sit down i'm going to swatch these art supplies you guys have no idea how i struggle to open things like this i really do it's like everything in this whole world is childproof or Beck proof anyway. Oh, this is cool. Oh, we've got a little piece of string, I presume. That's a bookmark. Instructions. Oh my god, I can't believe I've actually got one of these in my hot little hands. Like, this is crazy. I've just. I've, oh, they, it stinks a bit. Whew. I've just seen so many videos on this watercolour palette. And I'm just like, oh my god. Oh, oh, how is that a peacock blue? Tell me, tell me. And how is that a violet? Okay, so I presume that this is the swatch thing. Stick mix, oh, it's a mixing panel. 
Oh, okay. Oh, 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 we've had some breakage. Was that meant to happen? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I've been extremely confused by the breakage. Oh, this is nice paper. Wow. Let's test the mechanical pencil. That feels nice. I like it. I'll test the Windsor and Newton liner. I like it as well. I don't mind that. That feels quite nice. Look at the point on that. Let's swatch these and see how they... Ooh, ooh, that is a deep pink. I'm not seeing much difference between the deep pink and the crimson. I might just do that crimson swatch a little bit better. Oh man, that's... I'll tell you what, I can't actually tell the difference between these two colours. But I tell you what, that's an awesome blood colour. Wow. I don't usually like an orange, but... Oh, boys and girls, look at that orange. I sort of am sort of not seeing too much variation between like these two, especially these two. Oh, wow. Now it's a party. Oh, that color is beautiful. Oh, we've had some, we've had some mixage right here. These paints are making my heart happy. So it sort of started off a little bit. And as you get down, as I got down to these colors, oh, they've really sort of blown me away. Just the vibrancy of these colors, like, like that's, that's amazing. Like there's some really nice colors. Very excited to see what the hell I'm going to come up with with this? Um, it's not going to be too hard because, you know, feeling buggy. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really in my comfort zone here. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing something with this. So let's go and get some designing happening. Okay, so it's pretty much a month later. I have now finished Inktober and I am ready to do this now. So I had actually put this on the back burner because of Inktober. And why I have my Monster Animal Masher packets here is because the theme was feeling buggy, I decided to risk it and combine a scroller box challenge with my Monster Animal Mashup series. So I'm going to risk it. This is this is quite risky because I'm hoping that I'm going to get in this second packet here some sort of insect or something that I can relate to a bug. Um, so yeah, this is this is definitely quite a risky sort of project to, to do and mix these two, but we're gonna do it. We're going to mix these two and see what we come up with. And let's pick our animal, our mammal, from the first bag and see what we get. We have a whale! <laughs> We're going to have a whale as one of the main animals. Alright, now this is the important bag. We want one of them, so let's let's see how we do. Please be an insect, please be an insect. Oh, it's a lizard. <laughs> We're gonna run with it. We're gonna run with it. All right. So, what mythical fairy tale um, element is this thing gonna have? A gnome? Um, 
is this thing gonna be cute or is it going to be a monster? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's going to be cute. Oh, okay, so we've got these two are the main animals. So we've got a whale and a lizard that's got to be mixed together to combine the main animal. Then it's got to have an element of a gnome. And we've got to make it cute. Let's do a candy review. Oh, grape. Oh my god, that brings back memories of when I was at high school. It's hard. It's sweet and it's tangy. I'm gonna go away now. So I've done a little bit of pre-drawing this. I like to pre-draw stuff when I'm sitting in bed watching TV shows. So uh, I really, I really, really enjoy that process. So there's that's why I don't do a lot on camera because I really just I really just like doing the sketch process in my own time this is what I ended up with so it is a as you know a beluga whale crossed with a blue tongue lizard and the gnome element is that this creature doesn't live in the water it lives in your garden so <laughs> So yeah, that's where it is. Like it, that's the gnome element is that it's in in the garden. I tried to make him as cute as possible, and I really hope this is going to turn out well. By the way, this here the, the scales just took me ages. That took me that took me ages to do. Redoing them again in a line art liner is is gonna be fun. Not. Inktober is done, which I am uh, thankful for, but um, it's definitely definitely changed my views on 30 day challenges. I would uh, swear black and blue that I would never do another 30 day challenge back when I did the first one when I first started drawing on my YouTube channel was a great idea for me to do it again and realize that it wasn't really that bad. I could potentially do Inktober again next year. I don't usually draw flowers. I'm not a flower person. So this is uh this is all new to me. I reckon if I saw a creature like this in my garden, I'd probably, probably keep it as a pet. What, are, what am I even doing? I think I know what I'm doing now. It's just, oh, I'm just trying to see where I've drawn everything. I don't even know what that is. I've just erased it and I'm like, oh shit. See, to me, this is a challenge doing something nice like this <laughs> because Horrible things come very naturally to me. And that's why I created this monster animal mashup because I like to test myself and that's why I did the cute element in the monster animal mashup because um, I, I, I did want to um, expand and, and if I get the cute prompt to you know be able to test myself to do something you know half nice I love how like I really enjoy like these long nibs and like drawing with this um, this mechanical pencil was awesome because of this long part here like I, I didn't realize how awesome that would actually be that's that's probably my new favorite mechanical pencil to be honest with you I sort of made his tongue go the wrong way. <laughs> I just realized like, oh, they wouldn't eat with their tongue that way. Wow. Okay. And there's mistake number one. Let's add some wood grain to this bridge because 
Oh, I'm having a run of wood grain at the moment. I just seem to be just doing it everywhere. Okay, so the line art's done. So I'm just gonna wait for a little bit for this to dry. Just to make sure and then come back and put some lawn color on this bad boy. All right, let's get these paints out. So gonna do the color of a blue tongue lizard, which is um none of these colors <laughs> so i'm probably gonna have to mix some colors up maybe um, so i'm thinking we go a burnt umber and mix it with a little bit of black or something geez it's hard to find a clean palette look at that but we just peel it out I think that one was acrylic. I'm trying to keep this. I don't want to do anything fancy here. I just want to keep this creature to the colors. So this blue tongue, the very native to Australia. They're not found anywhere where I live. I think they're more found down south. People have them here as pets and shit like that. So I, I wouldn't own one as a pet. I don't, I'm not a huge uh, reptile person. And the stripes seem to get more fuller as they get around, around to the back. I'd like to get a palette. Not necessarily like this one here, like that's, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about watercolor in you know, in a thing like that. It's sort of a little bit conflicted. Might even give a little, pull some of this color down. And just go around here like this just to give a sort of a real gradient. So next I want a little bit of a really sort of tan color. Shit, how am I doing that? Let's go with gold ochre. Let's see how that looks. Wow, I've actually been quite super silent doing this. I'm... Usually scroller boxes, I like to have a little bit of fun and have a bit of a joke, but um, I don't know, I'm feeling a bit serious today, which is a little bit unusual for me. Now I'm just going to go through and just put some dark little bits outline these bits because the blue tongues do have their little little spots or whatever you want to call them are outlines. I might colour in his eye black. We might move on to the leaves of the true of the thing what do you call that thing plant <laughs> so far i'm not a huge big fan of the way these watercolors are in this because like um i've really had to bend the book back so it doesn't turn back over again this extremely high volume blue because a blue tongue lizard's tongue is very blue. Oh, wow. Alright, so what I might do is I might do a blue flower. I might do this a blue flower so it's not... so it sort of has a bit of contrast here so we might just... Uh, Let's just do a purple flower, yeah. You know what? Let's just get girly up in this and let's just go with the magenta. Let's just do this one here, magenta, shall we? All right, let's finish this off. I can't believe how messy this is. Like I've washed my hands and look at that. That's that's still on there. That's 
crazy. Look. All right, let's finish this off with some white gel pen. Most of the things I've ever done in art is just wing it. I really have just... I have tried to just wing it and then figure it out after that. Yeah, I'm finished. This is my final piece. It's very, very bright and colourful for me. Um, I didn't mind. I didn't mind doing this. It's always something new and different to me when I do something a little bit more pleasant. And yeah, saves me, you know, doing all this gory stuff that I always like to do and more comfortable with. I just mixed it up and did something nice. Plus, I got the cute tab in the monster mashup so I really couldn't do anything else <laughs> that's what challenges me to do nice things so yeah there's a lot going on there's a lot going on and yeah it's not too bad um, I find this watercolor really messy like I have just put you know my hand in it and it's gone all over there Excuse you, laptop. I, I don't know. I'm sort of a little bit on the fence with these. Um, I wanted to try them ever since I saw a few videos of them months ago. I don't know. I, I love the colours. The colours are really nice. They're vibrant. They're very heavily pigmented. But I would like to have this in a palette. I don't like them being in this book because as I was putting water on here a lot of this paper from underneath was peeling up and I was getting bits of paper on my paintbrush and then I was putting it onto this like this is a good idea in some ways but it's not, not for me like I find it a pain in the butt having to, to turn a page and you know just I know it's petty but yeah that's just how I feel <laughs> about this product I love this I really like this I really like this paintbrush um, yeah I liked I liked it like I did like these definitely don't get me wrong I do like these they're just done in a way that I don't like to have my paint yeah, if you want your own scroller box, I'll have a link below. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I pay for these myself. And yeah, it helps me grow a little bit as an artist. I find that it puts you out of your comfort zone with a lot of the supplies that they give you. And it makes you create art in different ways and gets you, you know, doing different things usually to what you usually do. Um, this box, you know, it still put me out of my comfort zone a bit, but it is watercolours. I, I like my watercolours. I am a watercolour artist. But still put me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> this paper too. Oh, I really like this paper. So I think I might go looking for some of this Bockingford paper. That's it from me. Um, hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.